hi guys sorry for this camera angle today is may 1st 2020 i had my ultrasound scheduled for today my breast ultrasound they don't do mammograms on me because i'm 23 and they don't get very accurate results with really young breast tissue that's really dense so they like to do ultrasounds. The right side looked fine. The left side, I found this other small little spot that's about half an inch. They're not really sure what it is. Um, it could just be nothing. On most of the angles and most of the pictures, it looks like normal breast tissue. There's just kind of one angle where uh, an edge looks kind of abstract or different or not normal so um yeah and the doctor who read my ultrasound said that I should follow up with my breast surgeon about it because he didn't really have a very good ultrasound to compare it with because he just had that first ultrasound when I went in last year to compare it to and he it wasn't like as well documented because I had like a large mass then and uh, that's what they were focusing on and stuff. They told me that my breast surgeon wasn't in today with the virus and everything that's going on. There's limited people working in the hospital right now. So it's really hard to call people. It's really hard to like get appointments set up because there's just not as much staff and sometimes people aren't there on every day of the week like they usually are and stuff like that but anyway my breast surgeon called me after I got home and told me that she was there and that I could have come in about it the other thing that you need to know is that I'm supposed to have an uh, also supposed to have a breast MRI so they scheduled the MRI for Tuesday May 5th and I was gonna just have my follow-up appointment with my surgeon after that MRI but then my surgeon called me and she said yeah um, we can do all of that do you want to have just a fine needle aspiration on that one spot because then I mean if everything comes back normal then it can give you some peace of mind and everything and I was like yeah um, we can do that Tuesday and then I started thinking well, if I go back today and do it, since she's actually in the office today, um, then they'll have the results on Tuesday after the MRI, and then I'll just have all of the results of the ultrasound, the MRI, and the fine needle aspiration all on Tuesday. That's what's going on. Heading back to the hospital. I'm going to insert the pictures of my ultrasound just so you can see it. I don't know. Um, yeah. I'll let you know what happens after. I'm done now. It was super easy. She said that it really looks benign, so that makes me feel good. <laughs> we have the, you know, the cells to check Anyway, just to be super careful about it. So everyone's just being super careful. Um, I'm gonna try not to worry about it until, um, you know, later <laughs> until we know results. And yeah, so I'm just gonna go enjoy my weekend now. Bye. Hello, it is Monday night and tomorrow morning I have to go in for my MRI. I actually got the results of my biopsy last Friday on the same day. Um, I don't know how they got them that fast, but it was benign, and so everything's good. feel really good about that, and then, yeah, so tomorrow I'll get the full breast MRI, and hopefully nothing shows up on there. I know there's going to be more questions about why I need to have an MRI when the ultrasound came back clear, and... I think the tests just show different things and you can see some things on an ultrasound that you can't see on an MRI and you can see some things on an MRI that you can't see on an ultrasound. 
that's why I'm having both. So, yeah. I will see you tomorrow after that. Hello, I'm back in my bed. Kia's here. Um, <laughs> all right, so I got the results of my MRI and they're awesome. So my breast surgeon called me and she was like, hey, I just want to let you know that your MRI came back completely clear. We noticed the little spot that we did the biopsy on. There was the lumpectomy site and everything looked good and there wasn't anything else. And she said that she was sure she was going to have to call and have me come in about something, but there wasn't anything. So that was like super awesome to hear. <laughs> Sorry, um, this is the Q show. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, I'm just like really, really relieved. I got the results on the same day that I did my MRI, but I'm recording this a little bit after that, mainly just because I just kind of celebrated and didn't really think about getting out the camera. Um, I realized that I posted something on YouTube saying that I was getting some testing done and some scans, and some of you guys freaked out because of the current situation and, uh, were telling me like I hope you're okay with the virus and I'm sorry to put that fear into people's heads I didn't even realize like that the way that I worded it could have made it sound like I have COVID but I definitely don't and I haven't had any scares I'm just so thankful for these really good results and I'm super thankful that I did all this last year that I got through the big part of cancer treatment last year because if it was going on this year, man, it would just be so much harder and I feel for anyone who's going through that this year and getting their surgeries delayed or their uh, chemotherapy delayed and I, guys, just stay strong. I, I don't, I don't even know what I would do if I was in your position, it would just be causing so much anxiety. But yeah, um, sorry about taking forever to do this update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any video ideas you want me to do. I actually have some video ideas that um, I'm going to start working on. If you're new, subscribe, check out my videos. And yeah, that's all. Bye.